Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Trickster. Um, I know it's been a while, but the holidays came around and I got really busy with um, just making different mods and doing stuff around the house with the family. Um, I wanted to take a little bit of time today to showcase one of my recent mods that I just made. It is called the shoot and scoot grenade it's such a beautiful day right now on arc 2 so this is going to be amazing so in order to get this shoot and scoot grenade we need a couple of things we need to be level um, 50 so let's just do uh, let's do GM buff to give us as many levels as we need and let's go into here and let's just do weight because it's easy. Uh, da, da, da. Let's get to level 50. There we go. And then we need to unlock the engram. Oh, too far. So the engram is right here. Shoot and scoot. And as you can see, it's spelled with a CH. Um, it says equip, choose, throw, become the legend who shoots and scoots their way to victory. So I know it doesn't tell you a lot here. Um, however, <laughs> it all will be made clear here in just a couple seconds. So it's going to be really fun, really cool. So um, I made the grenade based off of the tech gravity grenade. And I kept in a lot of the functionality, the, uh, the switching between the two, uh, blue and yellow, uh, except for it does not do a push and pull effect it does something completely different. So we're going to do Fabricator. We're going to do a um, Metal Floor. Um, I need to get some gasoline. Let's just do 10 for now. Um, and then I want to get a um, let's just do hide shirt, but I want to do it at a very high level, hide shirt, and I'll explain why in just a second. Um, so, with all these things, um, they're all in my inventory, so, in case you weren't aware, there is a new hot bar on, on Arc Survival Evolved, uh, Ascended, versus what used to be on Arc Survival Evolved. Uh, on PC, you just hold down Q. On controller, you hold down the left bumper and the up arrow on the D-pad. And it brings up anything that can be placed or consumed in that's in your inventory onto these eight um, item slots down here for a hot bar. And on PC, we would press 0 or 9 to go to an another page because you could have several several items and it could be several pages um but on on um con consoles it's lb and left or right on the d-pad while you're holding lb so anyway uh let's just do this let's throw down a fabricator here we're just going to do a fabricator and we're going to do the gasoline right in the fabricator and we might as well equip this while we're at it um which i can't do from inside the fabricator menu so i need to do this here so we've equipped our 55.7 armor hide shirt let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on i know it's going to be loud and i apologize um but i need 50 crystal 80 hide 60 gunpowder 35 metal ingots 20 polymer so i'm going to cheat give whoops uh resources and i'm going to do that twice because I need enough resources to actually get what I need here. Um, so let's just go ahead and, and transfer all of this over. And what am I missing? Crystal. So I need to actually spawn in some crystal. So cheat, GFI, crystal. And what do I need? Um, let's just do 100. And it went down here. Oh, there was already it was already down here, but it went to my hotbar because I'm in that build mode. Whoops. Okay, so anyway, so let's let's make one. 
Um, I actually want to make two of them. So let's do the give resources again. And again, just in case, let's go ahead and transfer over. Oh, oh, wrong button. Transfer over everything there. Get everything off my hotbar. And let's make another one. Okay. So, and as you saw, it went straight to my inventory. Let's turn this off because it's loud and stupid. Um, it went straight to my inventory, but then it went straight to my hotbar immediately. So, the grenade. We pull it out, we equip it, and it's hard to see because it's so bright today, but this is actually blue. Um, on PC, you will hit right trigger to switch it, and on console, you hit left, I'm sorry, right mouse button on PC, um, and on console, you hit left trigger to switch it. So when you switch it, it tells you, and that see, it goes yellow, but it tells you what mode you're in. It pops up on the screen, and even in third person, it still pops up. I like it in first person because I can see the animation. So I'm going to start with the scoot. Um... No, I lied. I'm going to start with the shoot. Um, and as you probably guessed, the shoot, because of the way it's spelled, probably has something to do with um, not shooting a gun. It's shooting as far as uh, parachuting. So it this is going to be really cool. So you toss the grenade. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. We toss a grenade. And when it explodes, you're in the sky all the way at the game ceiling <laughs> with a parachute attached. And here we are, way up above the arc, way up above the island. We can see everything, which is why I was so happy that it was a beautiful day on arc. So um, this gives me an opportunity while I'm falling down to actually tell you about, um, let's do this, let's do GCM real quick so that I can take my shoot off when I'm ready. Um, so basically, this grenade, when you throw it down, it doesn't just teleport you. It teleports you and any tribe mate within a 5x5 five five foundation radius from the grenade explosion. Also, any allies. Um, so if you're in a pinch, if something's happening, like if you're being raided, you're being attacked, um, or if you just just want to troll your tribe or your allies, you can toss out a grenade and be shot to the ceiling with a shoot grenade just like this. Now, uh, I'm going to get rid of the shoot and I'm going to plummet to my death, but just before I hit the ground, I'm going to, because I'm in GCM, I'm going to fly and here we are. Come back and hit the ground. Let's turn off GCM because it will not allow me to do the other portion. So this is where the hide shirt comes in handy. So remember, we had a Ascendant Hide 55.7 shirt. Okay, so that's important because when this is all said and done, we want to make sure that we have that same shirt on. So now I'm going to switch it to Scoot using the right mouse button, and I'm going to toss it. This one is where I see it as fun. So now we have a glider and we're way up above the clouds. So let's get down so we can actually see what's going on here. There we go. So if you hold shift, he dives, hold shift and look down, he dives even faster. But we've got the glider suit and we can glide around. Now, unfortunately, uh, Wildcard has uh, let us know that there are a few issues with the glider suit. Um, it is a little stuttery in a couple of spots. As you're gliding around it's not too bad though um, but the biggest issue with it is your tribe mates or anybody else will just see you this is what I've been told I haven't really experienced this myself yet um, but they will just see you um, I guess flying through the sky so this could get some people in some trouble I guess because they somebody might think you're cheating with with the admin cheats when you're not but I don't know. I just think I think it's a lot of fun. It's a fun little gren little grenade, something to to mess around with um, friends and tribe mates. Now, the other thing to to note is that when we land, the chest piece that we have right now is metal. When I land, 
the metal comes off and the hide comes right back. So we have that 55.7. So we don't lose our item. And even if you die while in midair, your, your body will hit the ground and that 55.7 hide will be in the inventory of your dead body. Um, so therefore, it's, it's, um, you, can, you can get your previous armor back. Um, it switches when you walk. So if you land in water, it wouldn't have switched at all. So let me just show you that. It, it won't switch until you get out of the water and on land, but you have to walk eventually. Um, and some people might think, well, there's a way to exploit that because now I can I can just land in the water and then I can take off the metal chest piece that, that's given to me. Oh, you have to press spacebar when you're falling also, by the way, in order to get your wings to pop out. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, if you... Try to take off the, the wingsuit. Let me go. Let me just get into like a sm short glide here. You try to take it off. I am pressing the E key, which is the equip. I'm also pressing O now. I cannot get rid of it. It won't let me take it off and won't let me remove it from my inventory at all. So I've done this so that people can't exploit this and get a wingsuit for longer than they should. So I'm going to come over here and try to land in the water. And I'm going to show you that even if you do land in water, the wings might fold in, but you can swim out. The wingsuit's still on, technically. But the second you come out of the water and you're walking, boom, it switches back to the hide. So there you have it. That is the shoot and scoot grenade. Funny name. A lot of fun. So be sure to look out for that. That will should be in the mod list starting sunday the 31st so enjoy and if you have any questions uh, my discord link is in the description you feel free to pop in there and ask ask away um, if you feel like you want to come in and talk about any other mods that i have that's also a good place to do so if you feel like coming in just hanging out that's definitely a good place to do so um in the meantime, please do me a favor and like and share this video and consider subscribing to my channel as I will be putting out more and more content. Uh, the more di uh, dinos, geez, I saw that dead dino over there, the more mods that I put out. Um, and I look forward to hearing from all of you. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Mr. Trickster and you have been awesome. That's cheesy. Anyway, until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>